Welcome to another video in the Formula SAE tutorial series created by SOLIDWORKS. In this video, I'll be discussing the process of creating part molds. The example part I'll be using here is a carbon fiber steering wheel, but keep in mind that many of these processes can be generalized to other molded parts, most notably bodywork. Here we have a basic model of a steering wheel. Once we've completed the initial modeling process, the next step is to start doing a draft analysis to see where changes would need to be made in order to create molds. To access the draft analysis portion of SOLIDWORKS, open up the Views toolbar and click right here under Draft Analysis. To begin a draft analysis, you need to pick a plane that you're going to split for the molds. In this case, I'm going to split this part directly down the middle into two molds right along the front plane. After selecting the plane, SOLIDWORKS then displays a color-coded map of all the different faces on the part and how they'll sit in the mold. A positive draft and a negative draft are both good things. Yellow faces are faces that will stick in the mold if we select this specific split pane. Straddle faces are faces that have both a positive and a negative draft. Basically the rule is, is that we should have all positive draft on one side of the split plane, all negative draft on another side of the split plane, no straddle faces, and no faces that require a draft. As you can see, as this part is modeled, there's a fair amount of issues. There's a lot of faces that require a draft, and two straddle faces that will require split lines in order for them to be properly split on the mold. To walk you through the basic steps a little easier, I've made a simplified model of this steering wheel and I'm going to go through each of the steps required in order to perform proper drafts. Here's the draft analysis on a simplified model. As you can see, we have negative draft entirely on one side, positive draft entirely on the other side, and some of the faces in between actually have yellow so they require a draft. I'll now go through the process of creating a draft on these faces that need it. Before I go through the drafting process on some of these faces, I'd like to quickly talk about modeling with drafting in mind. You should remember that if you're making a molded part, you're going to have to perform these drafts at some point. And it's much easier if you actually model with drafting in mind than trying to get SOLIDWORKS to perform these drafts later. An example of this here is the outline sweep of the steering wheel model. As you can see here, I actually inserted my own drafts into the models with two degree angles here and here. If you're able to model in your own drafts like this, I highly recommend it. SOLIDWORKS does have its own built-in drafting tools, which I'll be showing you in a few moments, but as surfaces become more complicated, sometimes these built-in drafting tools won't always work and it's much easier to model these in yourself. Now let's return to the original model. Like I said before, this is already looking pretty good. I have nearly completely negative draft on one side and positive draft on the other side with just some of these holes requiring a draft. First I'll go in and clean up some of these surfaces and get them to the proper draft and then I'll start the mold making process. The first thing I'm going to be doing is using the split line operation in order to split these surfaces along the mold plane that I've selected for breaking the mold. To access the mold tools and the split line function, select mold tools under your command manager. Select the split line command, select intersection, and then select the plane that you're going to be breaking the mold along. Then select each of the individual faces that requires drafting and needs to be split. Once I've split these interior faces colored yellow, I can begin using the built-in drafting tools that SOLIDWORKS provides. Select Draft under Mold Tools, and you'll see the two modes that SOLIDWORKS provides for built-in draft. Manual mode requires more input from the user. There's another mode called Draft Expert that actually I find very useful. Draft Expert allows me to apply several drafts in succession. You should be careful with both these modes though as sometimes they'll fail as you get into more complicated surfaces and curved surfaces. Here we have mostly flat surfaces so they should work for everything. First select the neutral plane that you want to draft from. In this case I'm going to select the actual plane that we're splitting the mold along. Using Draft Expert we can apply several drafts in succession and see how they affect the model. 
first select the plane that you want to draft from. In this case, I'm going to be doing all the drafting from the mold split plane. Once I've selected my neutral plane, it recolors and reperforms the draft analysis. I can then start applying drafts to the faces. Draft Expert applies the draft in the direction of the blue side, so always remember to only apply drafts in that direction. In this case, I've selected all the faces on this side of the plane, and now I'm going to apply drafts there. You can see now that the faces that I just drafted have now become red, so they're good to go in terms of the mold making process. Now I just need to select these other faces, and they'll turn green, and then I'll be ready to make a mold. You can see now that I've completed all of my drafting. I have nothing but negative drafts on one side and positive drafts on the other side split directly along the mold plane. The next step in the process for making a mold is to select parting lines. Select parting lines up here in the mold tools toolbar. Over here then you're going to select the mold plane that you want to split along. If you've done everything correct so far, when you click draft analysis, you should see no blue and no yellow, and SolidWorks will automatically generate your party line edge. As you can see here, it's around the edge of the steering wheel, which is right where we want it, along plane 12. We're almost ready to create a mold body and cavity, but in this case we have one more step we need to take. Because there are empty holes here, we need to create mold shutoff surfaces so the mold knows where to stop inside these holes. In Mold Tools again, select Shutoff Surfaces. SolidWorks, again if you've done everything right, should realize where these open loops are and should already recognize where you need shutoff surfaces. If everything looks good, you should just have a green message here that says the mold is separable into core and cavity. Select OK and it will create the shutoff surfaces for you. After creating shutoff surfaces, the next step is to create parting surfaces. Up in the mold toolbars, select parting surfaces. It should automatically select your parting line, and then it'll create a boundary outside your mold that will be your parting surface. It's important here to remember to make your parting surface outline bigger than your final mold. I'm going to select 5 inches over here to make sure that I have plenty of room to put a mold here inside the parting surface. Now finally, we're ready to create our tooling. Select Tooling Split from the Mold Toolbar. Select your parting surface. This will open up a sketch on the parting surface. Here, you're just going to sketch the outline of your mold. Everything should be automatically selected here for your surfaces, and the only thing you have left to do is decide the depth of each mold. Once you have those selected, click OK, and it will create your molds for you. There are now three separate bodies contained in this model, the two mold halves and your original core model. Here, up in solid bodies, you can see where these three bodies are. In order to save a tooling model, just right click and select insert into new part. And there you have it, a brand new part containing a model for the mold of one half of our steering wheel. Using this, we can create this either on a CNC or maybe a rapid prototype machine and then lay up the carbon fiber inside and actually create a carbon fiber steering wheel from the two halves. Mold making can be a fairly complicated process and I tried to pick a very simple model in order to showcase many of SolidWorks features. If you have any other questions, you should definitely check out SolidWorks' built-in tutorials as they have two excellent mold making tutorials here. Located up in the help menu, select SolidWorks Tutorials, All SolidWorks Tutorials Part 2, and Mold Design and Molded Product Design Advanced. That's it for today's video. I know it was fairly dense, so as always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at sfalkner at solidworks.com.